Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Online Karting League South Africa. This is our seniors division. We had an absolute amazing race with the juniors earlier. We are now back and we are heading to the senior max karts and moving over to the big boys. These are the guys aged 13 and over. Uh, we have some very, very quick drivers on offer and a couple guys missing tonight. But uh, we are currently on board with Lucas Sturman who is leading the championship uh, with 87 points and then just behind him with 85 points and this is the two closest on the contention for the championship as it stands is Jude Stewart both from Angry Racing or Angry Esports rather amazing to see these boys battling it out so we're up for a new title or new champion for this season with Troy Dolinchek been missing out on a lot of races, who's the defending champion. And currently in third place is Sebastian Diaz with only 68 points. So it's a pretty big gap. However, there is two drop rounds. So once the drop rounds gets added in, we should see a much, much closer contention between the guys. But uh, it is all about Lucas Thurman and Jude Stewart as it stands. So that's going to be mega. And uh, we look forward to finishing the season with a title going all the way down to the wire fastest at the moment with the last couple minutes worth of practice is lucas thurman with a 44.876 john wilson less than a tenth behind then jude stewart and ken swartz uh, on exactly the same time so it is angry versus gazoo versus angry versus gazoo and then uh, just over just below a tenth and a half further back is Car Republic Africa driver Sebastian Diaz so it's close up front and well April only two tents down as well so the first six guys are covered by two tents that's amazing pace in the practice session guys are rubbering in this track properly four minutes to go uh, I would just like to give a big shout out to our sponsors for making this possible for throwing some goodies and money our way uh, that is against the odds esports that will hand out a bunch of OKL memberships for first, second, and third. Uh, then Antiso Consulting, they are sponsoring towards the prize pool of the Pro League and another Pro League sponsorship with uh, a generator. And the South Africans will definitely be after that is SEMA Racing and CDC Solutions. And then Logitech G South Africa, who has been an ongoing sponsor, who is once again sponsoring some goodies. And that will be headsets and steering wheels. Thank you so much, guys, for your sponsors and adding towards our overall prize pool. If we add the division and the Pro League together, <coughs> excuse me, the total prize pool is about 90,000 Rand in cash and goodies. So uh, that is mega. I think the total cash sponsorship in the Pro League is valued at 40,000 Rand. So that's some, some good cash value that the Pro League teams will be getting back. And then some goodies that will be handed out in the division championships. Currently on board or following uh, Sebastian Diaz from Kart Republic Africa. Following is there are rivals on track, but they are good mates in real life. Uh, Lucas Thurman and Sebastian Diaz. Diaz. Uh, just sending that cart into the wall. Thunderdome is crazy. If you get that angle wrong, you hit an unfortunate bump and then you just send it off into the tire. Right, two more minutes to go, then we're going to head into Quali. Newcomer Darius uh, Kotsa coming out on track now. If you can find his way through, navigate through uh, the, the poles that's in the way there. There we go. So Darius Kotze is uh, on his debut race and he is from Namibia. So we welcome Darius Kotze to Online Karting League. He is racing in the South African Championship. The African Championship will be after the South African Championship this year. That will start in July, I believe. Keep an eye out for that. The African Championship will entertain us with some other African tracks. And speaking about other African tracks, uh, the ATCM Mozambique track will be released by the end of this week. And in another UK track we are adding into the mix as well. Guys, if you want to get involved, please feel free to 
sign up uh, at www.aaoesports.com. That is www.aaoesports.com. Get yourself a membership. Get involved. It's not only league racing. There's rank racing every night, 6, 7, 8, and 9 o'clock. A lot of these boys jump in. Random. The tracks are fully randomized by script. Uh, you race in the Minimax and you just jump on and have mega fun with all these guys. And just so you guys know, these are some of the best carters that South Africa or Africa has to offer. Multiple champs, African and South African champions uh, in this league. So keep a keen eye out uh, for these guys. One of them we are currently following, Ken Swartz, who currently races in Senior Max, I believe, as well as um, the the GR Championship here in South Africa. I think it's a GR86 or something like that. So Ken Swartz is karting as well as Main Circuit this year. Who is currently behind him? Annual April from Western Province Karting Club. I believe Annual is also part of the Senior Max setup. So these guys are all driving carts that are very familiar. Uh, are Europeans allowed to participate in the African Championship? No. But there is still a European League in play which has been delayed by just a little bit to start. Because there we had lack of entries, but now that we're adding some more European tracks in that setup, the European Championship will start, I believe. We're going to look at it in June. And also European Ranked Racing Servers as well. So we've got into qualifying now. Lucas Thurman, first one out. He's wasting no time. He wants to get as much laps as he can in the 10, limit, 10 minutes qualifying. This is obviously completely different to the Pro League. The Pro League, they only have three laps to post their fastest lap. So yeah, the guys are going to get out and try and do as much as they can. So through Thunderdome we go, the most intense corner. And then one of the most scariest corners you'll head into is here up into Grandstand or Pipeline 1. Roller coaster of a circuit into Kangaroo we go. Lucas Thurman going uphill into Pipeline 2. Which is probably the scariest corner. You'll lose all feel in that cart when you go over there. Sturman tucking his cart down. Trying to maximize his pace. Crossing the line first. First blood. 45.4. And then we are on board with Ken Swartz now. And Jude Stewart in his toe. What is Ken doing? Point two down and then uh, one and a half seconds. So Jude not getting his first lap up as good as he wanted to. Jonah Wilson six seconds. So still there. Warm up laps essentially. And April half a second and then Ruben Victor 1.7. Darius three seconds. So all of these guys only starting their first proper out laps or hot laps now. Let's see what Diaz does crossing the line for his first time. Three tenths off the pace. And then Divya Knight not getting oh, he's only come out now. Right, Lucas Sturman. 45.2. Jude Stewart now crossing the line next for Angry Esports. Whoops, not ideal through hockey stick. And he's once one tenth, one and a half tenth off the pace. Ken Swat still a bit off there. <coughs> uh, John Wilson not crossing. Legally there, so invalid lap. Ruben Victor. Darius now six tenths off the pace. Next one to cross the line will be Matteo Sujel. In the angry esports cart. Sujel not getting a better lap there. Diaz does go a tenth off the pace there. Naidu not yet. Ooh, Sturman is cooking on track. Lucas Sturman, uh, 45 flat. Now, next guy to cross the line will be Stewart. They are nicely spaced. Two tenths off still. Swartz not improving this time around. Let's see what uh, Jonah Wilson's going to do. Ooh, not coming through there properly once more. But it does improve on his lap. He's half a tenth off now. Ruben Victor crossing the line now. 1.5. So, Victor not getting his optimal lap on the board as of yet. Next will be Sudel with Diaz right behind him. 
Sujal goes into fifth place. Diaz remains in fourth. Sturman does improve. No, he doesn't. Naidu doesn't improve either. And will April? Nope. Darius also still off the pace there. Jude Stewart coming to cross the line again. Which European tracks are being added in the future? We are adding a UK track. Uh, I need to double check. I think it's Rora, I believe, or something like that. I might be wrong. Um, we are adding that hopefully this week. Then uh, Cremona is going to be made during this year. We are looking at potentially Frank Ricotta as well. We are essentially going to cover off the whole uh, WSK calendar. That's whilst we are still working on the African tracks. So still a lot of work to do, a lot of tracks to come. All right, let's see. Uh, Jono Wilson has moved himself, himself up into first place with a 45.017. So he's 29 milliseconds ahead of uh, Lucas Sturman, who's going to come up to Kangaroo now. Let's follow Lucas Sturman. Wilson doing another pedal lap. Ooh, Wilson a 44.813. So Wilson is not playing around anymore. Let's see what Sturman does when he crosses the line. So this is the shootout between Gazoo and Angry. Ooh, 21 milliseconds once more. So again, the pace between the Gazoo and the Angry Esports boys are on top of it. Let's just go to Wilson now. And let's see, Wilson will be the one to cross the line next. Jono Wilson crossing the line. Does he improve on his lap? It's a mega lap, though. Nope, he doesn't. Who's next? Ruben Victor, 1.7 seconds. Uh, Ruben Victor is not finding his best laps. It's difficult. These boys are quick. 225 of Sebastian Diaz is going to cross the line now. Three tenths off the pace so far, which is still a fast, fast lap. He doesn't improve now. Sujel doesn't improve either. Lucas Thurman, again, not improving. And will April crossing the line now? And he remains in fourth place. Darius does improve, but only by the slightest bit. Jude Stewart still off the pace there. Can Swartz three, three and a half tenths off? Here comes John Wilson once more. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. Apologies about that. John Wilson doesn't improve this time around. That was a mega lap by John Wilson. And Lucas Sturman is taking the fight to him, though. That's as close as it can get. Does uh, Sebastian Diaz improve on his lap? Three tenths. Still, that remains the same. Sujel is five, half a second off the pace. Still not improving. Still not improving this time around. Neither does Diaz. Uh, I mean, Naidu. April crosses the line. Not improving. Now we're going over to Darius Kotze. Nope. Dude Stewart also not improving. The guys are going to try and stay out on the track as long as possible so they can run out as much fuel as they possibly can to get these carts to be as light as possible. John Wilson not improving. Ruben Victor trying to cross the line now. Not improving. Half a second splitting one to eight. So it's mega pace from the boys. Sturman still not getting his best lap. Across the line now with Anwar April from Kumalo Esports. Nope, he doesn't. Neither does Naidu. Darius not improving this time around. Whoops, and there we go. Ken Swartz sliding there, not crossing the line in an optimal, optimal way, so uh, losing a lot of lap time there. Not imp I, I don't think anybody's going to beat that lap from Jono Wilson. Wilson has put in an absolute blistering lap, lap and then Lucas Thurman just joined him. 21 milliseconds off the pace so it's amazing the lap times these two boys have been able to put onto the track Diaz did improve but still in the same spot oh no Sujal lifting his hand but not getting off the racing line and uh, Lucas Thurman's not gonna be impressed with his fellow angry sports driver I do not improving. Darius Korta did improve on his lap, but he's still in ninth place. But this time, seven tenths off instead of one second. So, 
Oh, look at John o. Wilson improving once more. He's done a point seven, forty-four point seven there. Jude three tenths of the pace. Let's see, one point eight seconds off the pace now. Is uh, Ruben Victor will he be able to improve on that lap? Victor crossing the line, it did, but only by a little. Jude Stewart not. I mean, Sebastian Diaz not improving on his lap there. Let's see. Next to cross the line will be. Divian Naidu, Divian Naidu crossing the line, four tenths off the pace. Does he improve? No, he does not. Look at Stimmen parked his cart. He's like, nope, I'm not going to improve. Not going to bother. And he's taken that cart back to pits. And crossing the line, John o. Wilson. He is from Idubi, from, from KZN. So this is essentially his home circuit, although he doesn't race there that much. I think he spends most of his time in Gauteng. <coughs> But the local KZN driver, John Wilson, putting it on pole so far. Lucas Stimmen is going to come out for one more lap. Let's check. Devin Naidu crossing the line now. Naidu crossing the line. And does he improve four tenths? He does move himself up into fifth place now. Three, just over three and a half tenths off the pace. Ken Swartz improving, but not enough. Or did he improve there? And will April still four tenths of the pace, and uh, still the same there by John Wilson. Lucas Thurman has gone to pits, and he's going to finish his final lap. Does he improve? No, he doesn't. Two to five of Sebastian Diaz is going to cross the line now. Will he improve? Short as possible route to the line. It does improve. Two and a half tenths of the pace. He moves himself up into third. Next one now will be Ken Swartz. Yeah, Ken Swartz is going to finish his lap now. Ken Swartz will cross the line. Going into hockey stick. Will Ken Swartz improve? And he crosses the line. He does improve and he moves himself up into fifth place with John Wilson finishing his final lap. Oh, John Wilson leaving it for the last lap. Wonder. And he does improve on his lap. Not that anybody was going to beat his lap, but he just uh, decided to rub some salt in the wounds there. Intense. The pace from these guys. We are split by the first nine ga guys less than a second. Eight tenths from first to ninth. It's a good pace. And Darius uh, putting in a good qualifying effort considering this is his first ever race in the in the sim. In in the cart sim though. Uh, what well, I wanted to just quickly have a look before we head into so uh, qualifying summary, John o. Wilson with a 44.728 and then Lucas Thurman with a 44.834, so just over a tenth between first and second. Then Sebastian Diaz, so it's Gazoo versus Angry versus Cart Republic Africa versus Angry versus Gazoo versus Cart Republic Africa. So the first six guys, three teams, each driver really representing. Oh, look at that, deed. Oops, that's an unfortunate uh, roll there by... Sorry, I'm playing uh, Stewart or COC as well as um, commentator. Unfortunately, all our stewards are not available tonight, which is very, very unfortunate. <coughs> so, like I said... Uh, First six cards, three teams. That's going to be exciting to see these guys put in their best effort. So we'll go to the grid. We'll follow John Wilson into the first corner. He's got the inside line. Waiting for all the cards to go on grid. Only ten cards starting, well, um, available for us tonight. Oh, here we go. Pre-final sequence. Here we go. All the boys are putting their foot. They're already tucking down. It is... Lights out and away we go. John Wilson getting a fantastic start on the inside. Lucas Sturman not getting a great start. Sebastian Diaz immediately sending it down the inside of Sturman, moving himself up in second. Will he be able to? They're going into the Thunderdome or the S's. They don't want to be going side by side through there. All six parts that did mega qualifying are going away. Oh, you heard a cart spin there in the back. John Wilson still leading the way there with uh, Sturman all over the back of him. Immediately under attack, Sturman goes. Will he send it into Kangaroo? Wilson defending. 
Hitting the brakes hard. He's going to compromise his exit, though. Yep, Wilson's got that under control. Ooh, Sturman looking over his shoulder and then just running off track there. And then uh, Sebastian Diaz slamming the brakes hard into Pipeline 2. And then losing a lot of momentum. So promoting uh, Devin Naidu up into second place. Jude Stewart falling off at the back there. Oh, down the inside goes Ken Swartz on uh, Sebastian Diaz. Ken Swartz moving himself up into fourth place. Right, so we've got Devian, no not Devian, uh, that's Sebastian Diaz versus Ken Swartz. These guys are all over the grass here. D uh, Diaz just, uh, oop! Knight is spinning out, Jude clipping the rear of Kart Republic driver Diaz. So Jude Stewart moving himself up another position. Knight is spinning out, it's chaos for the Kart Republic Africa drivers. They do seem like they have survived that unfortunate scenario. But they have lost out quite a lot. But look at Jono Wilson. He's just pulling away. Jono Wilson continue on his, continuing on his form. Showing some true pace. And Wilson pulling away from Lucas Sturman. 1.1 seconds is the gap already. Lap 3 of 10 done. Almost done rather. Wilson is showing true form around Idubi. Which is his home track. Let's just see what's happening further back. I see there, uh, Devin Naidu's got Anwar April. Nope, he's pulling away from Anwar April, having none of that. After having a bit of a moment on the track. Angry esports driver, Lucas Sermon, in second place. Carl van Royen joining in chat, supporting his fellow KZN driver and home track driver, John Wilson. Cape Townian, uh, Lucas Simmons is going to want to have something to say about that, but uh, so far, advantage, John Wilson, advantage, Kazoo racing over Angry Esports. Some true pace, though. Ken Swartz uh, moved himself up into third place with Jude Stewart. Catching onto the back of him. Whoops, big moment under the brakes there by Ken Swartz. Ken Swartz has been dominating the ranked racing scene in the Minimax cards. Will he be able to continue with his run of form? And will that translate into the Senior Max cards? So far, Jude Stewart's going to have to say, he's going to want to say something about that. He's caught, catching up onto the back of Swartz. Stewart is going to send it down the inside. It's a bit of a late lunge there. Oh, he's going to send it. He's going to make his move well known there. Wow, Jude Stewart. What was a very well he made he made his uh, intent known by uh, placing his card on the inside. Oh, Jude Stewart's gonna cut across the track because of a love tap there from Ken Swartz. Ken Swartz is fighting back. Oh, look at uh, Sebastian Diaz. He's gonna want to get involved here. So we've got Swartz versus Stewart versus Cot Republic. So once more, three teams having a, th a battle on track. Kazoo, East, Angry Esports, and Cot Republic Africa. All three of these boys are real carters, and all three of them are in the senior categories. Devin Naidu does Senior Max, I believe, as well as Stewart, as well as Swartz. Bit of a nudge there by Swartz, no, by uh, Stewart on Swartz. And then, not so that's Diaz in between them, not Devin Naidu. Diaz has gotten involved, he's in the OKJ class in real life, part of Cot Republic Africa. Amazing battle between these guys. Ooh, something happened on track between first and second. Lucas Thurman has found himself into first place now. So John, uh, John o. Wilson had a bit of a moment on track somewhere, and he just found himself losing a lot of pace, and now he's in third or in second rather. But look at the bumping here—a lot of uh, front front bumper or nose cone bumps here from uh, Diaz and. Uh, that is Jude Stewart, which uh, then promoted Ken Swartz up in twos. Where is he now in third place? Because I think uh, Stewart's got a time penalty. Eli Vergara joining the chat here saying he's keen to see the Masters. Yeah, please. 
tune in and watch that. I'll be racing myself. We should be about six or seven masters racing tonight. And then we'll have Ruben Mamalok from the UK who will be covering the stream tonight uh, to give me the opportunity to race as well. Juju Stewart versus Ken Swartz still. We're going to follow this because this is where the battle is at. Will Swartz send it? No. Stewart's got a little bit of a defensive line there. Diaz is getting involved here. Will this be a case of uh, two dogs fighting over the bone? Third one walking in, you take walking away with it. Oh, Jono Wilson having another moment. Jono Wilson has moved down into. I saw George Chuchu just spin there. Did the uh, Schwartz clip the rear of Stewart there? That's unfortunate. Chuchu Stewart uh, has managed to get his cart pointing the right way and moving on with the race. Just means his starting position for the pre-final will be one place down. Or a couple places down, rather. Swartz versus Diaz now. It's non-stop fighting. Quarter has retired. Anwar April has retired in the pre-final. Will Diaz send it into the last lap? Oh, Diaz has got a different line through. Oh, they clip each other once more. That's uh, opened the door for... Oh, Diaz is in a, a quarter public. Whoops! And the two guys clip each other there. And unfortunately, sending it into the tires. Both of them losing nose cones. Both of them should retire their carts. Diaz shouldn't continue to finish the race. And we'll go to uh, Lucas Sturman. Who is still in great form. Consistent. Keeping that cart pointing the right way. Keeping it on the black stuff. And staying off of the green stuff. Sturman will finish this race with 5.6 seconds. The gap when they cr crossed the line the last time. Sturman for Angry Esports Championship leader by only two or three points, I believe. Sturman takes pole position for the final with Kent Swartz in second place. Sebastian Diaz in third place with uh, Juge Stewart. Oh, that's Divian Naidu in third place, rather. Juge Stewart in fourth And then Ruan Victor crossing the line. So retired there is Diaz, Wilson, Victor, April and Okota. We'll just take a quick one minute break while we wait for the race to finish and we move over into the final. Right, we are back. Let's head into the final. All right, starting grid for the final. Lucas Thurman in first, Ken Swart second, Devian Naidu, Jude Stewart, Mateo Sudiel, Sebastian Diaz in seventh place, John Wilson. Who was dominating that pre final, really made some mistakes. Ruben Victor in eighth, and while April in ninth, and then a newcomer a Darius Kotze will start in tenth place.
All right, let's see what's happening in this final 15 laps. Uh, once we're done, we're going to say goodbye very quickly as we head into the driver's briefing for the Masters division that starts at 9 o'clock as well. Right, here we go into the start sequence immediately. Ten carts on track. Lights are on away we go. Lucas Thurman getting a good start on the inside with Ken Swartz. Oh, Devin Knight is gonna send it down the inside immediately. Oh, there was a cart sent off onto the into the barriers. And that is the 258 of Ken Swartz and uh, 276 of uh, Jude Stewart. Ken Swartz being sent off into the track, unfortunately, immediately in the finals. Though somebody was very naughty there. And we will get going. Let's just follow what's happening here behind him. Devin Naidu running wide. John Wilson's going to take a quick position there. John Wilson immediately up into second place. Wow, John Wilson getting an absolute fantastic start. From seventh place into second in the space of one lap. Blistering start there by Wilson. Let's just see what's happening behind him. Ruben Victor up into fourth place. Ooh, uh, Sebastian Diaz is going to send it down the inside. No, he's not. He's going to lift out. That's a wise choice. Rather try and do the move up hill into pipeline or grandstand. Ooh, big lift there from Ruben Victor. That's going to open the door for Sudio. He's going to head. Get some, get involved. Yeah, Sudial's like, thank you so much. I'll get involved. Two for the price of one. Sudial just sends off uh, Ruben Victor there, unfortunately. Being punted off by Sudial. So a bit, bit of a naughty scenario there by Sudial. Now down the inside goes Sebastian Diaz of Sudial. Diaz moves himself up in two. Where is that? Fourth place, I believe. Yep, that is correct. What's happening is a battle behind him as well. There was a battle, but... Not anymore. Already three carts retired. So survival of the fit is here in the seniors division. Wilson versus Sturman versus uh, who's that? Naidu. And then it's going to be Diaz versus. So, oh, Diaz is building a bit of a gap there. So Diaz, he's got some good pace on him. Diaz has f found something there. Now it's a comeback drive for Diaz. What is the gap? 4.2 seconds. Let's see when he crosses the line. If he has been able to catch onto the back of them. 4.4. No, so he's lost two tenths. So the pace is still up front. Mega by, D uh, by Lucas Sturman for Angry Esports. Versus John o. Wilson from Toyota Kazoo Junior Academy. And then Kart Republic Africa driver Divya Naidu in third place. He's just about hanging on to the back of them, but not enough to get to benefit from the toe. Tucking these two boys up front are oh, having a proper go at this. Two different lines through hockey stick. Up here we go into corner number one or turn number one. Slamming the brakes, throwing that cart in. Look how hot John Wilson comes into the corner. Wow, he comes in fast into T1. That was obviously compromised in clipping the rear of uh, Lucas Sturman there. Let's see if we can get her on board. Now on board with John o. Wilson into Kangaroo we go. See how Wilson works this cart into hockey stick going uphill using all of the track and more and then going into turn number one down into the S's Thunderdome exit of Thunderdome back straight uphill into grandstand or pipeline Do a 
rear shot view of Lucas Sturman who's leading the way. We just see how that kazoo card is following suit. Lap 7 of 15 done. You can just see that Jono Wilson is using all of the track and more. Trying to maximize his lap time. He's pushing that cart like there's no tomorrow. Sturman coughing up some dust uh, for good measure. Oh, Sturman slamming the brakes very hard there. Yeah, would compromise his momentum. Tucking there is Jono Wilson. You can just see how he's working. Trying to gain and he's caught uh, up a little bit. That's one and a half tenths, he's gained. Hard oh, he goes. There we go. So we'll go back to the TV cam. That was a good onboard shot from Wilson as well as uh, Lucas Sturman. Amazing to see how these boys drive. And they are quick at it. Look at Jono Wilson now. He's caught up. Jono Wilson's now really in the toe. He's going to maximize his lap times. And will he, will he just sit behind Sturman? Or will he try and do something special? Well, uh, Stimmen is a little bit more defensive going into hockey stick this time around. Through Thunderdome we go. Ooh, we see Devin Naidu coming through Thunderdome very hot there in the back of our screen. Right, John Wilson still sitting behind Sturman, not doing anything yet. Pretty much just checking and trying to find, he's analyzing the driving lines of Sturman, trying to find a gap and where you could potentially pounce. Pretty much stalking his prey at this moment. John Wilson on Lucas Sturman. Angry Esports versus Kazoo um, Junior, Toyota Kazoo Junior Karting Academy. And these guys are showing us what class they have. One, point, one and a half tenths is the gap. Pretty much bumper to bumper stuff here between first and second. Sturman versus Wilson. Lap 10 or 15. Who's going to get, get top honors tonight? Who's going to maximize their points for the championship? Wilson not doing something as of yet. I just want to check where Wilson is on the championship fight because he pretty much missed the first round as well as Kalsa Scribati. So that's his two drop rounds pretty much. John Wilson 37 points. So he could potentially still be in the hunt. Just depends on... Fully depends on... Um, the rest of the season really all right Wilson he's gonna send it down the inside into kangaroo late showing of uh, the move there John Wilson pretty fantastic pass though clean showing a lot of respect there is Sturman not um, closing the door completely and uh, showing us some hard and fair racing now it's all about Sturman what's Sturman gonna be able to do is Sturman gonna be able to come back at John Wilson this time around John Wilson's got pace. He's already pull, pulling a small gap there. But to be fair, Sturman doesn't have to do anything silly. He is leading the championship. He's maximizing the points. Closest rival as it stands is Jude Stewart. He's currently in sixth place. But Sturman seems to be wanting all of the points he can get from this race. And that is 25 points on offer. Ooh. Going uphill. No, Wilson is running the defensive line there. He's covering pipeline. Which uh, he's covered very well, really. Fantastic driving from these guys. Really, really fantastic driving. Let's see if we can get another on board. Yep, that's the one we were looking for. Now on board with Lucas Sturman, who's driving for Angry Esports Gold in the Pro League. You can see the golden chassis and rims and steering wheel.
Going to the outside is Sturman now. Wilson's defending that kangaroo line. Perfect stuff from Wilson. Really well defended. Check that defensive line from Wilson. Covering off hockey stick as well. Wilson is now defending for all he's worth. He's showing his skills. He's showing his talent. The amazing thing that is worth mentioning here is Lucas Sturman is an esports driver only. Whereas John Wilson is a real carter, a real racer. And this is probably where he's, his experience is going to start showing. Is where he's going to just go defensive everywhere he can. But Lucas Thurman is having none of that. He's all over the back of that cart. He's going to send it down the inside. Thurman's going down the inside into Kangaroo. Taking the longer way around there is Wilson trying to ex make a better exit out of Kangaroo uphill into Pipeline. And then giving uh, John, uh, Lucas Thurman just a little bit of a tap. Opening the door for the inside line. Back into hockey stick we go with Wilson advantage. Wilson this time around. The position swapping about two, three times that lap. But Wilson's gone in. into the last lap we go now. John Wilson versus Lucas Sermon. Into Thunderdome we go. Very bouncy through the... Into Thunderdome we go with Wil with Wilson losing the position to uh, Lucas Sturman there. Wilson's going to stay on the inside though. He's going to have... Nope. As I thought he was going to go down the inside... Sturman's got the advantage over Pipeline or Grandstand. Into Kangaroo we go. Sturman's now defending for all he's worth. With a potential cutback there from John Wilson. But he's going to get the outside line, which isn't ideal. He's going to try and send it down the inside easy. Sturman's going to defend the inside line into Hockey Stick. Around the outside we go. John Wilson. Ooh. Sturman's done everything he could. And Lucas Sturman takes the top honors tonight. Advantage Esports driver, Sim Racer Purist versus actual Carter, John Wilson. Fantastic driving between these two guys and a lot of respect shown. Sturman taking top honors, John Wilson in second, Sebastian Diaz in fourth, Divya Naidu in third place in only six tenths off there. So amazing driving from Divya Naidu. Pretty much a ride and drive tonight. Stewart ends up in fifth place. Guys, amazing, amazing drive. Wow, that was exciting. Sturman, Wilson, thank you guys for providing us with an amazing race. Thank you guys for tuning in. It's going to be about 15 minutes. Then the, the Masters Division will come back. There's going to be about six, seven Masters Division drivers. We'll see you guys in 15 minutes for the Masters Division. That is all the older guys, 30 years and up. So we will tune in with you guys very, very soon. Thank you so much for tuning in. And 